Hi, I'm Bill Gentry. I've been practicing divorce and family law since the late 1980s. Throughout my career in family law, I've seen more than my share of domestic violence. Unfortunately, it's much more common than we'd like to admit. First and foremost, nothing excuses violence in the home, and no one deserves to be treated that way. Too often, victims blame themselves for their partner's abuse. Violence is no one's fault but that of the abuser. But what can you do to protect yourself and your family if your partner gets violent with you or threatens to? Never be afraid to call 911. The police would much rather come out and defuse a potentially dangerous situation beforehand than come out later after someone has already gotten hurt. Afterwards, you or your attorney can go to the Superior Court of your county to ask for a restraining order. Technically, it's called a Temporary Protective Order, or TPO. Once you've applied for a TPO, you'll typically see a judge as soon as possible, often that same day. And the judge can issue what's called an ex parte TPO, meaning that the judge does not even have to hear from your spouse or partner before putting the TPO into place. If granted, the TPO will typically require your spouse or partner to leave your house immediately and stay away from you until a follow-up hearing can be held, typically a few weeks later. If your spouse or partner violates the terms of the TPO, they can be punished with jail time and as much as a $10,000 fine. Finally, if you're married, you can file for divorce and ask the judge in the divorce case for an order keeping your spouse away from you. The most important thing is making sure that you and your children are safe. Beginning the process of getting yourself out of an unhealthy and even dangerous relationship is the first step towards a better life for all of you. If you need assistance with a violent or potentially violent partner, please call us today at the Gentry Law Firm. We're here to help you.